Although some people think Photoshop is an overwhelming program that's difficult to use, but I'm here to take all the strain out of it. I want to show you right from the start how you'll be able to get fantastic results with only a few steps. In this activity, we'll transform this image, which is fairly dull, to this. Everything will be done in just a few minutes. 1. Make it black and white. 2. Bring back colour to her lips. So let's start with this image that you have attached to this lecture. Please download it, right-click it and open it in Photoshop. Alternatively, you also have the PSD file attached, so you can double-click it and it will load directly. It's the same thing, there are no differences between the two. OK, don't worry about the specifics because we'll cover them later. Just follow my lead. This is what Photoshop should look like on your end. If that's not the case, go to the top right and click here. From this list, you should choose Essentials. If the program still doesn't look remotely like what you see here on the screen, then click again and choose Reset Essentials. Great, go to the bottom right of Photoshop and click on this small yin-yang symbol. From this new list that appeared, choose Black and White. Immediately our image has changed, but we're just getting started. You'll notice a new panel has appeared, and it's called Properties. From here, we can further adjust this black and white effect. Play around with these sliders as you want without any fear that you might ruin the image. You can see the photo quality is quite poor, so some of these settings accentuate those issues. Luckily, if something isn't right, you have two options. First, you can disable this black and white effect by clicking on the eye icon next to it. This is also helpful if you want to compare your before and after shots. Click again to re-enable it. In case some of these settings are not right and you can't remember their initial position, your second option is to press on this arrow icon that will reset everything. This way you don't have to delete and start over in case you mess up. I think I want her hair a bit darker, so taking down the blue slider to something like minus 100 is going to help me do that. Let's also take down magentas to about minus 25 or so. Again, you don't have to be precise because we can always come back and change these settings. OK, this is looking good so far and you could stop here, but I want a dramatic effect. I want her lips to be bright red while everything else is muted. Let's do that now. Press B to identify the brush tool. Take a look at this tools panel on the left. Click and hold to make sure you have the brush tool selected and not something else. OK, now focus here. Click on this small icon that will open up our Brush Properties panel. Don't get confused by everything that's going on. We only want three things. First, select the very first brush from the list. Second, make sure the hardness is set at 0%. Lastly, adjust your size to about 60 pixels or so. Great, now it's time to get to work. Make sure you have black as the top square here. If that's not the case, press X on your keyboard and that will flip these two. Now press Z to activate the Zoom tool. You'll see your cursor will now look like this. Click several times until you're up close. Press B for your brush tool and let's start painting over her lips. And as I'm painting, you can see how these stand out tremendously. If you're not precise, don't worry. Let's say I messed up and I went too far. Not a problem. Hit X again, and this time white will be the top colour. Paint over your mistake, and it magically goes away. Now switch back to black and continue painting. As you progress, you may want to adjust your brush size. These tricky parts will require a smaller size, something like 20 or 30 pixels. Once you're done, press Ctrl or Command 0. This will reset your zoom level, and you can see your result. And that's it. In just a few steps, we made the image black and white, we enhanced her hair, and we went for a creative effect by showing off her lips. By painting over them, we're no longer able to adjust them with our black and white slider, but everything else is fair game. Here's what you can do right now. Perform the same steps, but take it further by doing the same thing to her nails. This should take you around three to four minutes to get a good result. Show me you're committed to this course and post your image in the comments section and share your work with others. Have fun, and I'll see you in the next lecture.